Hello everybody, I'm back again. So today I am here to share some new book page ideas. My brain was actually working yesterday. <laughs> well, it always works, but you know, coming up with ideas, not, not all the time. So I gotta take advantage. So yeah, last night it worked. So I just wanted to come and share real quick. This is the first one. I was just doing, uh, you know, flipping it up and use it as a pocket and a pocket back here once it's glued down and that's it. And then you just pop my head, well, what if I cut that in half and use that as a pocket? So I did. And I just think it looks really cute like that. And then you got the large pocket on the inside. And so I have these pieces of ephemera. So yeah, you would just glue it down and then you could still insert something else back there. So then um, I did decorate um, this one. This is the only one I decorated. Cause like I said, I had to take advantage that my brain was working. <laughs> so then from that one, this one came along. Let me, I guess I'll borrow this one. So then this one came along. It's the same thing, except this one has one, two, well, one down here two three and then four in the back so that was cool um actually I should use this one so you have the pocket here i ended up cutting the little i guess thumbnail i don't know what you would call that um so you can put a little card um ah a tag in there and then you got back here and this one will not interfere with whatever's back here. And then that one, and then this one here. So that is that one. And I just left them plain in the back because they're pockets. So I made these tall. You can make them as, as high or as short or as you know narrow as you would need them to be. So this was my first little set. And then, this one came along. Now I've done something similar like this in the past where you again would glue here, here. You have your pocket here, little pocket in there, but I did leave this open. I'm not sure if I did that on the very first one that I made. I would have to go back and look in my videos. That's a lot of work, so yeah. <laughs> so here, here, and here. And I love the way it turned out. I love how that rose came. I'm thinking just a, like a cute little label or something would just, you know, have it complete. And I use various kits. I don't want to say who because I'm not 100% sure who they are. But uh, yeah, it's a mix. But if you guys really want to know, let me know. I'll look them up. But yeah, so then that one came along. And then from that one, this one came along. And this one is a floating pocket. I was thinking of punching a little tab and just, you know, gluing it up here so I could add some little fibers because it has a pocket in the back. So here you have a little pocket here. And then on here you have a large one in there and then you have another one here. So that's why I was thinking of adding a little tabby there. I didn't think of it to bring one and just pop it in there so it could be like a little tag. So yeah, that one came out cute. It's, I think I've done something similar, but um, not the same. I don't think I did this um, this little um, slat here, but yeah, it came out really, really cute. I love it. I think that paper's from my porch friends, if I'm not mistaken. And some of these are from uh, Taylor made journals and um, the old design shop. So then this little taggy came along. And this one I didn't cover the back. I want to put something plain for journaling. But I liked, I, I've done them before where it only has one tuck here. But this one has two. I just thought it was cute the way it comes out. This really doesn't really need decoration a lot. I love the paper, so it's like done for me. I would just have to punch my little hole there to add my little fibers, but really easy, really cute. So that's made out of one book page. Actually, this one too. All of them are actually, except for this one I had to make two to the original one 
spin that I created this this pocket there. But yeah, they're all using one one um, book page. Then this one, I've done something similar like this. As you can see, I've had the little tuck there on the side. And then you flip it around and I would do this pocket here. But as inspired by the first one I made, I ended up um, adding a small little pocket there. And when I was stitching, I kind of went out. So when I do that, I'll go around twice. So it'll look like, oh, she was going for that. But no, I wasn't. It went out. <laughs> so yeah. So it's a total of six pockets. Well, to be honest, it's a total of, of seven. But the seventh one is not done yet. Um, and that's this one here. I, I didn't want to show it, but, you know, I'm an impatient person, you know. Um, so I have to. So I'm going to show you this. But let me see real quick. There was a very, very first, first one. Where are you? Are you? I have a little box where I'm like throwing all my scraps and my, 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 see those are my little samples and that's not what I'm looking for. Uh -huh. It's missing. Okay. Then I won't show that one. But I came up with a little kind of booklet with a book page what did I do to it and this is the second one that came along um, I just don't know see I got all my let me look one last time oh I think it's this one so this is the first one that I came up with a little booklet it's not complete in my mind, you know. It, it is. <laughs> I see it, I should say. But, you know, this would be the front. You would decorate it. Now, this little flap here could either be a tuck or insert another flip like this. Now, here, you're going to have a tuck there. And then this will be, you know, sewn or glued down. And then this will open, and then this piece here, yeah, I'm going to pray, is going to be stitched here and here so you could have another little pocket there. So I attached it with whatever excess I had left, so that's how I attached that one. And then this one, I just made a small little pocket that's going to be glued down there, so that's going to be a hidden little pocket there. Now here, I'm not sure if I just want to leave it like that, like I said, and use it like this, or add another little insert. Well, because I was thinking about that, so then this one came along. So I'm still going to finish this one, which is the original one. And as you can see, I started collaging, but I didn't finish it. But this is also using a couple of book pages. So this one opens like this. I did glue them with um, a glue stick because I plan to sew them once they're stitched. I'm sorry, once they're collaged. So you would have a page here. I don't know yet if there's gonna be a pocket or I'm just gonna do a little, you know, page decorated there, but it opens like this. Don't mind the book, you know, it's just the book with, it's gonna get covered. <laughs> I don't like snakes. So there's another little pocket similar that's going to go here, glued down. And then this one opens, so you have all these pages to decorate and add pockets or whatever you want. And then that closes like that. So then on this side, we have, again, another little flip through. Now, don't mind that. It's going to be decorated. And here, I may just stitch here and here so I could have a little tuck here. So just decorate here. And so then you would change that page and then you can decorate here again. So then on this side, again, I attached another book page. So this would open like that and like that. So you would decorate it. And then here I have to make a, another little pocket. I'm thinking either that or like a little notepad. 
but yeah guys there's so much um, and this is three pages one page down one page here one in, inserted in the middle as you can see there's the piece where I glued it down or I don't know if it comes out and then here's the third one so I can't wait to get this done and you know the way I'm envisioning it <laughs> and you know some I'm not sure how I'm gonna go about doing it but it's really cute and it's just book pages so yeah guys I can't wait to show you guys that when I'm com when I complete it but um, yeah I hope you guys like these pockets let me know what you guys think I will pop that back in there because that belongs there and then I will get these decorated so you guys can see them all but I mean they look pretty like that honestly I like the combination of papers that I use like I feel like they don't really need anything like this one especially just they're just cute <laughs> anyways also I wanted to share something else so enough of the pocket ideas I went ahead and started um, a new um, stains starter kit oh which I have enough oh I forgot to bring it oh okay another video then this is what is in the starter kit and I have some where it's just the kit itself and then I have some where it's the kit with the stains so um, yeah, I just thought, you know, a couple of people had asked me if I was going to have any, any more. I, you know, said I'm not sure. Well, eventually I said I need to do something. So eventually I got to it. So this is what I have. I went ahead. I told my, my husband helped me. I told him, no rubber bands. You didn't listen to me. But I have a couple of different tickets. These are a dollar tickets in red. These are, these are an older, these were gifted to me a huge roll. So I figured, okay, I can add some of these because I have the thing is like that. So, but they're so cute. They're theater tickets, $2. I wish it was $2 to go to the theater. Not no more. And then I have a big roll of this. So I added some of those white ones and then some of these blue that again, I have a huge um, ream of it. So I went ahead and added those. And there's a little glassine bag. And I'm just going to pop them in there for now so they don't open up on their own. But there's that glassine bag. And then I had these in my shop. I thought I sold them all. But I found some more. So I figured I'll add them to it. So I added five of them. These are uh, vocabulary words. So I think you have the definition there. Or, well, anyways, keep going, Pat. And then you have, or we have some of these. I hope I didn't leave some behind. But there's, oh, there they go. Oh, there's supposed to be five of these. These are the um, spelling words. So, in, and uh, you have it in green on one side and then the black and the other one so yeah you get okay those are four there should be another one in there so you get five of those five of these and then you get some of these tickets and these are claim claim check tickets so they're perforated so you can cut them in three pieces these are awesome for collaging or little uh little uh what do you call those not like paper clips you know a little uh oh my goodness a cluster I guess a lot of you guys call them clusters so you could take these apart and work with those like that so I thought that was awesome I made a few I need to show those I don't think I've ever showed those and then you get these little um, they're like price tags but these were already uh, punched with these numbers so I'm, I'm assuming they're like for jewelry I don't know but I have a bunch of those and they're lettering in red, brown, black, blue. So yeah, those numbers, it came, they came like that. So pop those there. And then you get a small little stack here. I thought these were so cute because they're just tiny. I didn't bring a ruler, so I can't measure them, guys. And then you get one of these um, um, occasions 
card, so I figured this this would look awesome. Either coffee dyed or stained, you know, and yeah, a little bit of collaging, a little bit of um, an image, a cute image, perfect for a um, journaling card. And then you get two of these small little, um, little, uh, what would you call these? Uh, the word is in my, like in the tip of my mouth, but it's not coming out. <laughs> but anyways, you get two of these. I think these are so cute because they're so tiny. They're not they're usually big. And then, okay, what is that? Okay, I thought it was a bug. Is that? This is, this is, I found these at a thrift store. I found two huge pieces, so I figured I'd cut a, a bunch and um, add them. I think this is from, you know, the people that are, I'm assuming the people that are in court that use a machine, and it's, it's, it's something like that on the wrapping, which I don't have it anymore. And each page has, well, I think it's every other. Yeah, every other page has a number. So I thought these were cool. It's very, um, well, it's not tracing paper, but it's it's very thin, thin uh, paper. Kind of like tracing paper, but no, you can't see through it. <laughs> and then you get one of these large division cards. Again, I still found a few. I thought they were all gone. You get one of these uh, <clears throat> um, 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 recipe cards. And you get a paper napkin. This one is with this. This one is with a uh, botanical one. Little butterflies. I love butterflies. And then some of these. Um, I found two packs of these. The from the cover, I could tell they're kind of a little old already. But the papers look fine. But the the you know the little advertisement thing. Yeah, they don't make those no more. <laughs> So there's one of those in there. This, what is this? Okay, this is a cute little card that I don't recall seeing this. I know I gave my husband some stuff. He helped me and, oh, there's the other one. See, five of these. But yeah, I gave my husband, uh, you know, a bunch of stuff and I, I, don't, I don't recall seeing one of these. That's cute though, little, little slice card. And then you get two of these library cards, which I noticed this one has a little cut. I guess that's how they had it. I don't know. But there's some of them are like, no, actually, they're all like that. Maybe the way they had them in, I don't know. But these are um, from 2015, so they're not that old. Okay, this one says. Uh, January 10th 42 so what 1942 okay so this one's older <laughs> and this one's newer okay and then you get two of these little cards little like flash cards I guess it says math smart I found these also at a at a thrift store and then I have a bunch of these and it comes with the little sleeves so you could take it out use it as by itself or leave the plastic but I figured okay I need to use up those so I'm popping those in there and then there's two little coin envelopes and these are white I never have too many of those Oops. and then there is this is also another I found two packs also it's also it's I won't call it tracing paper because it's not... Well, yeah, you know what? Maybe it is. Check it out. Anyways, it it was uh, two pads just full of it. I don't know what exactly it would be used for, but I figured these are cute to use in your journals. So, yeah, it's two of those in there. And you get a square doily. That's cute. I like the design. I need to copy dye some of those for me. And then I have this huge book that had different pages. And I ha sadly, I had to fold these because then they won't fit. But yeah, these could be used for um, as journal pages. Pop this up top. And then this is um, an old music sheet. 
sailor's song so you can never have too many of those and then some of this um, ledger paper but this is a large page as you could see so yeah this one could also be cut in two and then fold in half for you know a journal and then here's just a large envelope and then this one too um, a friend of mine Debbie Ham had gifted me this huge pack that I completely forgot about it and I don't know if you could see in the background but it's the the seal I guess of the brand of the paper I know it's got a name I can't think about it I'm saying a seal but obviously this is good quality paper and it looks like it's money judgment index I'm assuming it's from some sort of court house because it has judgment debitor um, name of the plaintiff case number so yeah it's obviously from some court but there you know as you can see it's a large page so again I had to fold it in half but these are awesome and it's good quality paper so these will definitely make good um, pages for a journal and then there's some of these cute little um, pages. This was from a um, stationery, which I have to say a lot. This was not supposed to go in there. These were printouts that I had, and I guess I accidentally gave them to my husband. This isn't mine, but I printed out. I know some I got from my friend Patty, and some are I have from Rachel from Roxy Creation. And my husband folded some in there and I'm like, you were supposed to put those in there? Well, you gave them to me. So, yeah, it's, I guess it's my fault. So I'm like, well, I'm just going to leave it there. But these were not supposed to go in there. Like I said, some of these were from Patty and some of them are from Rachel. So, Rachel, if you're watching this, I'm sorry, but I didn't want to open up all the packets and take them out. I mean, not everybody has one. There's some stuff that people got the same and then some packets there's stuff that are different so yeah so sorry Rachel this one's yours sorry Patty if it's yours you don't mind <laughs> anyways and then I found these large um, I guess they're like flashcards so I figured um, me personally I would cover the fish <laughs> I don't want the goldfish I, I shouldn't say that my mom's favorite fish was a goldfish so I should say that but I don't really care for fish I'm more of a cat and a dog uh, person so I would collage on it you know or in distress it you know to uh, use it as a large um, tag or a large journaling card but yeah whoever gets this pack you're getting a fish <laughs> and then we got some of these pages from an old um, book um trying to say it's from uh this is wild times maybe from a herb herb uh book not sure but there's a page of that now these packs are a little bit different because these have wallpaper move this out of the way over here for a quick second um i'll years ago why well, don't i say years ago but yeah it's already been like about two years maybe a friend had gifted me a bunch of wallpaper uh, pieces and so I went ahead and cut them up I kept some and I made I added some in the packs so this is one of them as you could see it's nice and shimmery it's got flowers roses I should say and it's kind of uh, embossed so really pretty and I, I cut them in pieces so that one I could fit it fit them in the baggies and two you know to be able to have more to go around and they're all different so every pack has different ones so then there's this one here I love browns but see this one has the edge my husband I told him cut it off and hubby and then this one here I, I don't know if you could see the floral uh, but it's kind of like a marble look to it and then there's this one. It's supposed to be 10 pieces. But I really like this one. And this one again looks uh, to be a little embossed. And it's shimmery. Really pretty. I hope that's coming out on the, on the camera. 
but yeah I like that and then here's another one again little in the shimmery side also a little bit embossed really cute I love those colors look at this one like I wanted to hoard a lot of these and especially these three but I, I got to share, you know, I can't, I'm not going to use all that. It was a lot. So I kept some, like I said. And here's another one, again, with floral. Really, really pretty. So if you like florals, you'll like these wallpapers. And there's this one, gold color. Ah, I feel like the glare. Again, see this one? Some of them got the end from where they were stapled. But you still have a piece to play with for collaging purposes, you know. So it should be 10 pieces. I hope it was because I didn't count. But let me pop those there. And then these, I found a pack of these Los, from Los Angeles, a, a postcard. Um, I figured I'd pop them in there because I, I have a nice stack of these. They're brand new, like somebody bought them and never used them and so I told my husband we need to add some of those and then these uh, various people gifted me some of these um, little um, envelopes some of the cream color ones and some of the gray ones here with the window uh, so yeah I, I decided to pop some of these in the kits and then I found an old book and I, I want to say this is, oh, goes this way. Uh, it was a Chinese, I hope I'm saying it right, from 1936. It was a Chinese book. Anyways, I thought this would be cool for collaging. And look at the awesome, uh, you know, coloring of the page that it's already distressing on its own. Like, you really don't have to do anything to this page. So, yeah, I popped two of those. And then some of these. This is more older than this one, as you can tell on the pages. See, they came apart. Um, but yeah, this is an older book. I can't think of the year, but I think it was 19, 1917, I think. So yeah, there's two of those. And then I went ahead and added an old check. These aren't that old. It's 1939, but, you know, they're still old. Um, oh, it says November there. But yeah, so I added one of those. And um, so yeah, that goes in there. So that's all that comes with the kit. And like I said, some of them come are listed with stains. The other ones are listed um, just the pack of the ephemera. So let me pop this in there real quick. I don't want to lose any pieces. But yeah, they're, each pack, some stuff is the same. Some stuff will be different. But they're all fun to take a party work with. Then I also went ahead and made some small ones. Um, these don't have wallpaper. And again, they have a couple of different things. They do have the same amount in the ticket, the little vocabulary cards, the little... Uh, spelling cards but they these have two of these little heart tags it has a little oh well, that one's falling off already but two little hearts in there and I think everything else oh no 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 this one also has a couple of these little cute tags so those are yeah that's that's the only thing different on these but everything else is the same so I will pull that out and of course you get a smaller doily because it's a smaller bag. <laughs> uh, again, you get two of these. These are from 2006 and this one is from 2001. So there's two of those. And oh, this one comes with a um, guest check. The other one, um, the large one didn't have it. Okay, I need water. I feel like my throat is getting dry from so much talking, guys. What did I do with my water? I thought I had it here. Did I drop it? I probably did. Oh no, my daughter took it. She put it way over there. Okay, I guess I'll just deal with it. I'm almost done. <laughs> so then um, there's two pages of that uh, 
tracing paper, I want to say. Little small pages. Uh, two of the little uh, coin envelopes. These come with a, a uh, postcard. Now, I found a pack, and I had some gifted to me of uh, postcards. And some of them are, are um, they're old, but not that old. Like, well, this one's not that old. This one's 1986. And so I did add that. I found a, um, a pack of these, uh, Mike's Moving and Storage. And these are the kind of postcards you would send when you're moving to a different location. So I thought these were cool. So yeah, I went ahead and added one of those. Uh, a paper napkin. And another postcard here. That one's pretty. And this one, does it have the year? Um, 1951. Yeah, this one looks a little more yellowish on the back. But, um, yeah, so you get that one, and then you get the um, recipe card, the LA one, of course. And then these are paper, I think I've shown this ages ago, though. I don't know what kind of paper this is, but it's awesome for um, distressing and using it in your journals. I, I, I forgot about it, and now that I moved here, like, I went through a lot of stuff, and I found it again. I have pink this I don't know like a brick orange and then this brown oh there's the other piece see this is the br the pink one that I have so it's this one here and it's it's textured and it comes in a ribbon um, you know like ribbons but it doesn't have the name so I don't know what it is but it's paper I'm assuming maybe to make bows out of paper I don't know but anyways I've used these especially this one as in, you know, in the binding of my journals in the past, and I've distressed it and, you know, used my stains, and it just gives it a, a, a different look, and it, it looked nice. So I am sharing a little bit of both colors in there. I have some of these uh, little um, pages left. I forgot what they're called. Oh, and this one has two of these uh, recipe cards. So pop those there, you get one of these. And then this one has smaller ones. Um, little uh, pages. So you can't go wrong with those for, um, for you know, and copy dyeing them and then inserting them in your junk journals. And here again, you get these um, old pages again. I did not put the Chinese book pages or the the check because it doesn't fit on this bag but yeah I try to fit as much as I can this one doesn't have wallpaper either um, but it's got a lot of nice fun stuff to play with now again on this one I also have a set I don't think I'm gonna be able to fit on this um, on this one I have a set with the stains and I have a couple of sets without the stains so if you're interested, they um, are all already um, listed on my Etsy for anybody that's interested in getting one of these um, packs. Shove that in there real quick. But um, yeah, I don't want to tear it. There you go. I did it. But yeah, um, that's all for today. I did want to show you that envelope that I made and I posted on um on um put my little pockets there because they're so cute anyways i did an envelope uh with my stains but i also used um other stuff and i love the way it came out and i forgot to bring that over here i'm in my bedroom and my stuff's on the other room so um on my next video which is when all these this stuff is complete completed i will probably share it Actually, I have a lot of other videos that I need to take care of. Anyways, okay, I will hush because I'm already 34 minutes. Um, so that is all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys think about these cute little uh, new ideas that I came up with. Let me know if there's one you like and you would like to see a, a tutorial on. Uh, you know me. I will be more than happy to do that. 
Um, and then I will let you guys know how the other one comes out that, of course, I didn't finish. Which is this one here. So, other than that, these are listed if anybody's interested. I will see you guys in my next video. You guys take care. God bless. Bye.